Welcome to my first vegetable garden. Today I want to show you the difference between true leaves and first leaves. The first leaves are called cotyledons. They're the leaf of the embryo. And those are the two leaves that come from the seed itself. And let me show you the examples. These are cucumber plants. And these big oval shaped leaves are the first leaves. They're not true leaves. And they come out first. They come from the seed. They're also called the uh, leaf of the embryo. And from what I read is they actually don't even uh, produce photosynthesis. The true leaf is right here. You can see one leaf coming out for the cucumber. It looks like a tiny cucumber leaf. As you go here, you see the uh, true leaf is a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. Here's a really good example right up here. And that looks like a cucumber leaf. This is the true leaf. It, it produces photosynthesis. It's going to feed your seedling. Here are some tomatoes. Same thing. This right here is your first leaf from the germinating seed. That does not create photosynthesis. And here are your true leaves. And tomatoes usually come out in pairs. And the true leaves look like um, what they're supposed to look like. These look like tiny tomato leaves. And you can see them starting to pop up all in these different places. Why is that important? When the true leaves come out, that's when you're going to need to fertilize your seedlings for the first time with a liquid fertilizer. And you can see I have water in here. I just shot a video on my other channel on what I use and when I use it. So basically, I just wanted to show you the leaf difference, but real quick on the fertilizer. As soon as these true leaves come out, what has happened is that they've used up the nutrients in the seed. So you're going to have to feed them. And you can use whatever product you want. You could use organic product. You could use um, a non-organic product like miracle Grow. miracle Grow tends to have everything and it's really good for first time gardeners. That being said, a lot of people don't like the company. However, whatever product you pick, you want a water soluble fertilizer and you want to use it at half strength. And you can see how I do it as I pour in, uh, the water and the uh, liquid fertilizer right into the tray. There's holes in the bottom and you can see how, well this is light from the last video. It's absorbed all the, the water through the bottom with the nutrients in it. You can see that this is dark now. That's light. This is the best way to get the liquid nutrients to your seedlings is from the bottom. If you water it on top, I've said this before, you run the risk of creating splash. You can knock dirt out, you can spread diseases, just water from the bottom. It's a lot more hygienic for your seedlings. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.